tea rolls has always been a thing for us because they, they turn over quite quickly and people that come in you know they, they imagine themselves buying a racehorse and a lot of people want action within the first sort of year and tea rolls do that if you end up with a later developing horse you know you're talking about a two three year gap or, or interval before it runs and that's also as well as buying the horse there's a lot of capital laid out to to train it as well on the way there. The best two-year-olds I find are the ones that, that don't do their best work at home. They're just always doing enough. And when you see them go to a channel like Ascot, which is a lovely flat track, you know, and very fair, that's when you see them at their best. Royal Ascot this year we missed out, which wasn't great, but they say if you have a moderate Ascot, you have a very good new market, and that's exactly what happened. But, you know, the Ascot two-year-olds are very quick, and we sort of have I think more than six, seven final horses nowadays. You know, they're, they're sort of the ones you, there's no Champions Day as such for them, but they're still nice horses moving through the season. Two year olds, you're looking for them to be robust and strong and able to deal with it mentally. It's a very, very big, you know, it's a very big day for a two year old. I don't care how cool or how relaxed they are. If they don't deal with it very well, it can send them the other way for good. Well, you buy a lot of nice horses, and some of the times the horses you think are like Ascot horses don't end up being those horses. And then the, the ones you think might want a bit more time, they're the ones that can come right. So they come in all different shapes and sizes. Of course, you know, when you're selling them, that's a lovely Ascot two year old there, hopefully. You know, nobody knows until the death, really. But. Yeah, they have to be special and they have to stand out quite a long way. To win there, a lot of the time you're going there to gauge your two-year-olds. You don't know how good they are. You think they're very good, that's a very good two-year-old. They could go there and finish eighth. And you just wait for your good two-year-olds to come. But it's very hard. It's not as easy as people make out. This horse on the far side, he won his maiden at Ascot. And he's the best two-year-old I think I have this year. And he ran so bad at York, we can't explain. The horse, this side, this horse called Jukebox, and he's a pretty decent horse as well. And the horse on the far side is as good as you get, I think. But I still can't explain his run last time. But I'm hoping he might be good enough to run in the Jukebox. You never know. Well, everybody wants to win the Coventry, don't they? You know, and, and you want the Coventry when it always produces a stallion. And you need to be an extremely good horse to even be competitive in the Coventry. I've been there loads of times with horses that that I thought are superstars, and they finish about fifth or sixth because it's such a good race, you know. But luckily, we get some later maturing types, and they they can fill the void. But I mean, you do need and you need a champion to win any race, even the Windsor Castle to win any race at uh, Royal Ascot, certainly in Ascot. You know, they've, there's. They're very good maidens. If you win there, you're decent.